All right, guys, we're back to the action again here. We've got Team West leading this competition with 23 wins. Team East currently has 14 wins. I will say that they've got back-to-back -back victories here in this competition. That's big for Team East to get, gain some momentum here in Session 2. They have, yeah, and let's see if they can get one more with uh, Noah Waddell out here, but he does have a very tough opponent, Riley Newman. <laughs> the referee is talking about how uh, talented Noah Waddell is uh, on the piano as well. All right, here we go. This should be a very, very Side up. good matchup. I agree. Yeah, the firepower f that is Noah Waddell. And then Riley with this just amazing control to be able to do no matter whatever he wants with the ball. And, and I think the big deciding factor in this matchup is going to be whether Noah can stay disciplined and focused through the whole 20 minutes to keep this game within reason. Because Noah, I would say, is probably the most talented, raw talent-wise, probably is anybody out here. I think he's got the most talent, natural talent. Absolutely. I mean, seriously, it looks like it just comes so naturally to him. Plus, I think he has a big advantage being left-handed. You know, a lot of players um, are right-handed in the sport of pickleball. And so being a lefty, it just brings another aspect and element to the game that players aren't used to. Yeah, the only thing that I would think in this matchup would be a benefit to Riley is that when, when Noah hits a forehand cross court, it's actually Riley's strength, which is his backhand, two-handed backhand. So we'll see how that plays out if this match continues. Yeah, that's a great point, Scott. Point. Boy, Noah really, really fired up early here. He is, yeah. He was telling me earlier he's feeling it from yesterday, feeling a little sore, but uh, he doesn't look it right now. Well, that adrenaline surging through his body. I mean, he's playing one of the most elite players in recent months that has come onto the scene in our in our sport of pickleball so you know this is a, a big adrenaline dump for noah and the and the, the key for him is going to be can he stay composed here and hit his shots for full the full 20 minutes wow that was a huge point from uh, noah there really stretching riley out and he's a big guy so he covers a lot of the court but uh noah's still able to find Boy. some angles Wow, Noah off to a great start here. Seems great very, start. very Three focused. One. He's probably feeling the momentum that his uh, team has kind of given him, you know, from Frank Three Anthony one. Davis two rounds ago, and then Adam Stone and uh, Kyle Yates with their big comeback too. Side out. All right, so right there we saw Noah rip a two a one handed shot down the line just wide. Not by much. Yeah, he's right on it. Point. And on that one, Noah went for a beautiful lefty hey, forehand uh, volley cross court, but he was on the kitchen line. Oh, that was great movement, but Riley able to maintain. Oh, that ball went. Oh, oh, Riley goes for the around the post. Great movement, though, by both players right there to cover the whole court. I agree. So far, so good. Exciting matchup, just as we uh, kind of called there. Yeah, yeah we expect <laughs> Again, this is the kind of stuff that I think we're, we're – Noah has to take a deep breath, reset, and just go on to that next point. Don't – he doesn't need to get hung up on this serve, right? There's a lot of game to be played here. We're only at the 16-minute mark, or really 16 and a half minutes. So he's got a ton of time to continue his strategies. Boy, he is really moving Riley, isn't he? He really is, yeah. I mean, from side to side. And also, I just love the uh, the come-ons and really firing himself up. I feel like Noah's the type of player that, like, when he's in the zone and he's hitting these shots, it's very difficult to handle his shots. Definitely, yeah. I've had the pleasure of getting to play with uh, Noah and usually on his side of the court so very happy about that <laughs> yeah he's not a guy that i i i handle well great, on the court he, he just has a lot of unique shots a lot of great shots with his left hand the yeah. way the ball comes off the paddle it's Boy. very very difficult to track his ball 
Yeah, a lot of depth in his game. Four, three. Also, one thing to, to note about Noah is his return. He either, I think he just barely missed that. Point. When he gets a backhand slice that goes deep, Five, three. that's where he really sets up a lot of his points. Yeah. Sign up. He covers a lot of that uh, at that kitchen line, too. Three, five. It's All right. probably very difficult for Riley to find his angles to pass Noah right now. Okay. So it, it, you know, early it was Noah, and then the and then the score changed. It was five three Riley. Now four five. Close the gap. You know, he just hit that winner right there. Let's see if he can keep this momentum going. Side out. He's still very focused. I, I like where he's at right now. I mean, he he seems very determined. Five four. Here. Absolutely. Yeah, he really wants this win for Team East. I just love that highlighter yellow outfit. <laughs> Oh, he just pushed just a little too missed that one wide. One thing about Riley is, like, he's long Point. and he's athletic. So, like, he can get to all these balls in one or two steps. It's crazy. It is, yeah. I am very jealous of that. I am five foot Me two. Yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, you're probably a little more jealous at five two. But, I mean, honestly, <laughs> that, that, that length right there plays into Seven his four. strength of being Absolutely. athletic and tall. Yeah, and Boy. having come from tennis, he has a great uh, court awareness is a Eight, term that I use a lot. But truly, you can see these players' uh, pickleball IQ when they're playing singles and doubles. Boy. A little fist pump from Riley there, too. He wants this. Yeah, you know, Riley's playing exceptionally well right here, making the gap here 9-4. So I don't know if Riley just got banged up a little bit there or if he's just I don't know it looked like I'm he kind of sure. bent over for just a second I, th I guess he's okay here I think he might have just knew he gave one right to Noah's forehand I mean again being a lefty usually that's his backhand that's true that's so. a great point I don't know 9-4 the other thing is and we Boy. talked about this earlier in a different singles match when, when, Riley, when Riley can get a deep serve and then have Noah um, get her short return, it allows Riley to get up to the kitchen, and that length starts to become a real factor because Noah can't pass with his passing shots like he could if, if Riley, Riley was just a little bad. bit back off that kitchen line. So I think when Riley can dictate from that non-volley zone, I think that's where it really helps him. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you know who called that timeout? Was that Noah? That was Noah. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Frank Anthony Davis over there giving him a little coaching, a little pep talk. That is legal in pickleball. Yes, you can do it on a timeout. Um, and also, if it was a game to uh, 11, best two out of three, uh, they could also Maybe do that um, during the uh, in-between games. But yeah, with this, games. it's only during timeouts. Yeah. So no coaching any other time except for during a 60-second timeout. Yes. Perfect. And the player has to call the timeout, if I'm not mistaken. It cannot be a player on their team. Oh, really? I haven't heard that. That's interesting. I believe so. We'll double-check on that. I don't we'll, know. Yeah, we'll double-check. That would make sense, though. That's whatever Frank said. It works. It, you know, I think, I'm telling you, when Noah stays focused, he's as good as any singles player out here. Out. Yeah, he just loves to go for a lot. You know, he really likes to get the crowd into it and, and be four. very animated out there on the court. He's so. only down six here. We're not yeah. even to the halfway mark. No. Still plenty of time. And, and I'll be honest, I really think that uh, even though the score is 11-4, I think Noah's actually been working Riley really well. The difference is Riley's been more consistent up to this point. He hasn't made as many unforced errors. Definitely agree with that. What a get. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. That was an amazing get by Riley. Riley's such an athletic guy for being 6'3". I mean, 
Those long legs get them across the court so fast. The Newman family is just blessed with amazing genes right there. I agree. Good court coverage. That ball was in. There was no call. Yeah, that ball was in. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no call. Noah did not um, contest that, that, no. that shot. No, that's an amazing 13, get. 13-4. All right, so Noah down nine here. A little three-point run for Riley here. Point. Again, this is what I was talking about earlier. Really. If, if he loses focus, this game could get out of hand very quickly. It's still not, it's still not out of the realm yet. Side out. Switch sides, gentlemen. All right, so we're at the 10-minute mark. The referee just informed the players they have to switch sides. This could either go really well for Noah right here, or it could get out of hand quickly here. I agree. I think right now Noah just really needs to um, limit the amount of errors that he's making, as you were saying, but especially on the return of serve. The return of serve, I feel like he's missed a few, and uh, if he cuts those down and really makes Riley play, I think that he can uh, gain the upper hand just because of his young athleticism. I agree. 14-4. There's that slice that you were talking about. That one just, just missed, missed wide. Oh. Yep. He just pet <laughs> he just he got the crowd laughing right there. He just basically petted Johnny Pickleball. <laughs> Johnny Pickleball, Andrew. That but not the real Johnny Pickleball. We want to make clear that that is his banner oh, that is hanging up on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny, actually. <laughs> yep, ran right into Johnny Pickleball's poster. I think that's amazing that these competitors can still have a smile on their face while they're competing at some of the best in the world. Absolutely. They, you can just see how much passion and how much fun they have. 14 5. That one just missed wide. Point. 15 five. I really do believe that the biggest difference right now is just the unforced errors. That's it. I agree. If you take those away, I, I really truly believe this game's 9-9, nine, 10-10, nine, ten, ten, something like that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, Riley just made an unforced error there. Eight. But, you know, he probably knows that he's up 15-5 and felt like, There's you a know, good shot can, right there by Noah. Yeah, I can go for that. And Noah needed to go for that one and... Glad that he did. So we're just under the eight minute mark here. What a get by Riley. That ball wow. missed wide though. Look at look at look at the hustle by Ready? Noah Waddell right there. Grabbing that ball, getting set up to just serve that ball right there. Okay. Point, thank you. Seven fifteen. He knows there's a sense of urgency right now. Yeah, you could hear that in Noah's voice. He really wanted right to be out. able to serve that quick and uh, keep the ball on his side. But see, the, the, there's this fine balance right now because he needs to rush and, and ensure there is a sense of urgency, but he doesn't need to get sloppy or out of control. With right, absolutely. Right and that put away there looked very controlled. Very much. You know, the one thing we can control in, in football is our serve. So he needs to just take that deep breath, make sure he gets that ball in, and give himself a chance. I feel like that one, that's one thing that uh, Noah doesn't do enough of is just breathe. Just breathe. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I'm guilty of that too. You know, when I'm I know I, the feeling. I, I tense up a little bit. And Point. Absolutely. Yeah, and with this format, you know, you feel the pressure when you go down – um, in the points, but you know, as you've been saying, is it is about the the number of points though that you get too oh, in the wow. end. That's a great great hands. Noah looks like he's a little winded and maybe smart at the six and a half minute mark to take another sixty second time. Time out. Score time out. I kind of I, I kind of wish the referees would actually say who calls the timeout. I can't. I couldn't tell. I believe Riley called that one. Did, was that Riley? Okay, that was Riley Newman yeah. that called that timeout. Sometimes it's kind of hard, hard for me to tell which one actually calls that 60 second Absolutely, timeout. yeah. That so looked like Noah may have been cramping a little bit there, so he's probably happy about this timeout anyways. 
Yeah, and he's still got one left, so he, as long as he uses that last time out before the two-minute mark, he's good to go. Boy, he, he, he really is working hard. Actually, to be honest, both of them are working extremely hard right now yeah, in the singles match. Can we make mention of this picture that's right on the screen right now of Riley? <laughs> and, and, Lindsay. and Lindsay right there in the Popping bottom up. part of the I think she's photobombing. Is that considered photobombing right there, Courtney? I don't know. She's photobombing this picture right there. I think she might be. I think he just jumped right over her head. <laughs> that picture actually came from the Lakes tournament when they unveiled that they were going to sell her instead of paddle oh, right wow. Yep, they look very good in those uh, S's. That's just too good by Riley right there. He's he's able to quickly see where Noah's headed and then hit back behind him there. Definitely. Yeah, he manipulates the, the ball, you know, where he's going to put it so well, especially with that two-handed backhand. 17 Oh, wow. Nice job by Noah there to keep that ball nice and low and force Riley to have to hit up on it and just barely clip the net. Another really nice point by Noah. You can see that urgency again as he hustles to the line. I am tired just watching these two competitors battle it out right here, Courtney. My goodness. So am I, yeah. You can tell that Noah's trying to end these points quick so that he can regain, uh, maybe even just get up to the double digits. So Noah down nine, just under four minutes. There Now there has to be a big sense of urgency because yeah. he's fighting the clock at this point. He is, and he's running from place to place, really trying to make sure he's got that ball and able to quickly serve again. All right, he's giving Nine, himself 13. a little self-talk right there. As a competitor, sometimes you need that. You need to give yourself a little self-talk. Oh, boy, that he got the advantage on that. No, it was out. It was out. Side out. Ball was just beyond the baseline there. No one thought it might have been good. I was actually a little surprised he didn't grab that ball out of the air before Riley had a chance to kind of regroup because he, he had Riley... <laughs> Look at Riley going in the kitchen like. <laughs> trying to right jump in front of that ball. Noah <laughs> trying to take some big, deep breaths right here to try to stay composed. Anybody that's ever played singles in pickleball, it's exhausting oh physically gosh, and yes. mentally. And imagine playing pickleball at the pro level, at the highest level. Yep, the looks like Riley's calling now. his second timeout Four right now. now. Yeah, and Damn, to be honest, I'm not, I don't think... Noah's even mad about that. He needs that 60 seconds to kind of kind of get a few breaths in. Yeah, I think he might be a little upset. Like, no, I can do this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, mean I, I certainly think that it the numbers aren't in his favor, but it's never over till it's over, right, Courtney? So Absolutely. He's going to fight. And again, even though he's losing 17-10, it is critical that each player for each team continues to fight till the, the clock hits zero because yeah. it's a cumulative team effort. So it's, it's no longer just about you. It's about Team West or Team East. So it, it, it's almost like the Davis Cup in tennis. Definitely, yeah, that's a great uh, analogy right there. You know, and just like you said, it's, it's really not over till that final buzzer sounds. So Riley really using this timeout to towel himself off and take his time to get back out there. But Noah is ready to go. Time in. 10-17. All right, here it is. A minute and 37 seconds. Side out. I think, I think the ball was just 17, wide. I agree with that call there. There it is wow. right there. Wow. No, basically, at that point, Riley's just trying to guess where Riley might, I mean, where Noah might go. He yeah. guessed wrong that time. Sometimes you guess yeah, right, sometimes you guess wrong. Looks like Riley's trying to have a little bit of fun with, uh, with Noah there. Take his time giving, giving him the ball. Kind of mess with him a little. A little bit. Side out. 
I think again, some of these unforced errors in the end, it's because you that feel that man. that pressure to try to get a point ended quickly. Under normal circumstances, right it out. wouldn't be that kind of pressure because there's no time limit in yeah, pickleball. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean that forehand there just. I mean, it was spinning, hit the corner, but Die then out. spun outside of the line. That was a beautiful shot by Noah. Look, look, they're, they're <laughs> having a little fun now. And, and you got to love that, guys. I mean, that, to me, is, is a – oh, wow, look at that. Beauty. Still hustling. <laughs> the crowd out. loving every bit of this right here. Both of them. Yeah, yeah we had the pleasure of talking with Riley Newman earlier, and uh, he's got quite the personality as well. He's a lot of fun to talk to. And he is, isn't he? Yeah. Very We're animated, very excitable. This. He is, one. yeah. Three, two, one. And that's our buzzer. Wow. I got to tell you, I enjoyed that. Even though that score ended 17 10 in favor of Riley Newman, I got to tell you, Noah hustled, job, battled, scratched, clawed, and fight. Here at the Pickleball Global Challenge Cup, this was the last match for the second session. Um, what a great match to finish session two. Um, boy, Noah's running you around ragged early, wasn't he? You know, I was lucky I got off to a good start. I had some, uh, some helpful coaching from my sister, Lindsay. She gave me the scouting report. And uh, then Tyson came in with a little uh, bits and pieces here and there during the timeouts. But I um, was just happy to get off to a good start. And then he was fighting at the end. I mean, he was getting every ball. Um, and he played well at the end there. That's awesome. I also wanted to, to say this. I thought it was great that both of you guys were having fun at the end right there. That, the crowd kind of loves that stuff, and I think that was amazing sportsmanship by both of you guys. I mean, at the end of the day, sure, we're playing for a little bit of cash and some pride, but we're, we're here for some fun, and the crowd's here for fun. They were getting into it at the end, so if I can give them some laughs, then uh, it's an A in my book. That's it. I love it. All right, we got Noah Waddell coming up. Thank you, buddy. appreciate your time right there. All right, Noah, come on in, man. Dude, what a battle right there, man. That was amazing, amazing competition. Talk to us about what your gameplay was going in there against Riley. Uh, well, Riley played really good. Uh, I was just taking it easy on him. <laughs> You're just taking it easy. I love that, Noah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, he just played overall a really good game. Um, he's trying to hit as many, uh, play cat and mouse with him, try to get him moving a little bit. But uh, played really good, hit his shots and everything, so... It's just great being here and getting some good pickleball in. I love it, man. You you are always fighting, scratching, and clawing on every point. You make it fun for the crowd. I love your intensity and your energy out there. Congrats, man. That was good stuff. All right, buddy. Appreciate it.